welcome back. I'm not sure how we made it this far into the series of mixology history, and we haven't covered tiki. Tiki is original craft mixology. Um, instead of your typical two, three ingredient drinks, tiki drinks could have five, seven, ten, or more ingredients. After Prohibition, tiki came around in the 1933 people weren't able to travel so they traveled through cocktails and through tiki bars and a lot of it was a uh, cultural misappropriation it didn't really represent Polynesia properly but it made you feel like you were on vacation Frank Sinatra had made the movie from here to eternity in Hawaii Elvis made a movie few movies in Hawaii and wearing one of the shirts from uh, Blue Hawaii this is a reproduction of one of the shirts he wore in one of his movies Frank Sinatra did not drink or smoke when he was recording an album, so he got his beautiful voice. But when he wasn't in the recording studio, yeah, he was out drinking and partying. And one of his favorite drinks was a tiki drink, and it was called the Navy Grog. Very, very strong. I'm going to warn you up front. Three different types of rum. It is very important that you use a snow cone like this. And the straw simply goes through the middle. And you could pick this up, Beach Bum Berry's website, or you could go to Cocktail Nation. You do want to make these in advance, and when you do make it, keep it in the freezer, but leave the glass in the freezer too, because what's going to happen is, you're going to take the ice, you're going to put it into a warm glass, it's going to start to melt and fall apart. So to serve this drink properly, keep everything in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. This calls for ice cubes to be shaken, so we're not going to use the flash blender. We're going to get right to it. And as usual, we're going to start with the least expensive and most expendable ingredients first. That is going to be three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice. The limes this time of year, I don't know if they're out of season or they're between season. I know we get them from Florida, Mexico, but the issue this time of year is that they're smaller and they don't contain as much juice. That would seem obvious. But at the same time, even the larger ones, it's hard to get a full half ounce out of it. So if you're going to make one or two drinks, pick up two or three limes just to be on the safe side. Three quarters lime juice, three quarters of club soda or soda water. Typically, I would not encourage you to put anything carbonated in a shaker, but there's just a really minimal amount here. The honey mix is simply 50% water and 50% honey equal amounts and that's how you get honey mix now we're going to move on to the rums we are going to use this plantation light rum I don't like I don't care for that one rum brand the most popular one you're going to find in every bar and every shelf that has a bat on it um, people know how I feel it's not even 100% real rum. They do use some neutral spirits in there. But I'm going to use this instead as a replacement. You could use another uh, Caribbean or Puerto Rican style rum like uh, Cruzin or Don Q. I just happen to be using this. I like it. They have a little bit more integrity about their product. One ounce Demerara rum. This one is Hamilton 86 because it is 86 proof. I think Frank Sinatra would have really appreciated this. You know, when he went into the tiki bars, he would pick the most potent cocktail on the menu. And so it's no wonder that the Navy Grog was probably his go-to. And of course, Jamaican dark rum. I like Koruba. That's it. Now we just shake. Be careful because there is carbonation in here shouldn't be too carbonated, shouldn't explode, but we want to shake this until we can't hold the shaker anymore. That should do it. Get a strainer because we have our ice in there. We're going to strain this into our glass. There you have Frank Sinatra's, and one of the my actually one of my favorites too, the Navy Grog. Give it a taste. As strong as this is, 
you really don't get the punch of the rum, which makes it especially dangerous. I taste the Demerara rum in there. This tends to, you tend to get a little bit more funk of the syrup, the molasses, but you definitely get the lime, you definitely get the grapefruit. Go easy with these. As many of you probably know, I also have another channel that's thinking about writing another book. And I didn't want to concentrate on tiki, because I obviously did that. Because I do love cocktails. I wanted to go more straightforward to the hardcore, original perfection of the cocktail. But again, I couldn't, you know, ignore tiki. Um, I may mix these two channels together. I don't know. I hope you subscribe to both. And I hope you enjoy your cocktails in moderation. Happy fall, happy October. Let's see if I could get another episode in before the end of the month for Halloween.